assuming you have a progress bar with HP and everything set up, you need to now animate your health bar because having the health bar just lose health instantly does not look very pretty. So uh, let me just show you what I have set up to set up our project here. So first, I've just changed the styles where the background is red and the fill is green. So when I fill it to, let's say, 50, you will now see 50% of our thing. Now, what we'll do is we'll create a new script here. We'll create a script on the progress bar, and I'll just do it built in. OK, now let's create a function called change health, let's say. If I wanted to change my health, I will create a function and call this whenever I change health. Let's say I pass through the word damage, and this would be an integer most likely. Now what I want to do is I want to create a tween. So the essential idea of our animation here is that we're going to use a tween to create this animation. So to do animation with tween, we will say tween property. A tween property is one of the most useful, I mean, in my opinion, maybe I'm biased, uh, one of the most useful functions in tweening. What we need to do is pass through the object, which is going to be self in this case. We will pass through the property, which is going to be the value. And we are now going to pass through the final value, which in my case is going to be value minus damage. Because imagine I am currently at 50 health. I want to go to 10 health. Or, or sorry, I took 10 damage, so I want to go to 40. That means D minus 10 would be 40. So now I also need to pass through the duration that this animation will take. Usually I like to do something around 3 or 4 or 0 0.3, 0 0.4. That's usually kind of a good uh, image or a good time. And you'll kind of see why in a second. Now let's test this by creating a function ready. And we will call the function change health and we'll pass through 10. We can hit play. And you'll see here that it animates. Now, to make this kind of uh, a little nicer, or kind of see it a little more, what I'll do is I'll say uh, get tree. Now, of course, you don't have to do this, but just for the sake of my example, I'm going to create a timer and wait uh, 0.5 seconds before I animate it. All right, there we go. Now we can see the animation a little smoother. Now, of course, remember that this is the time value between the change. So if I increase that value, it'll take slower time to decrease. So do think about the value. I do think maybe 0.5 or 0.6 might work better for this. But again, it really actually depends on the size of the health bar. Because if you think about it, if this health bar is a little smaller like this, and let's keep it at 0.5, you'll see that it animates a little smoother because the health bar itself is smaller. So that is my tutorial on how to animate a health bar. Hopefully this helped. Um, I will see you all in the next video. Uh, and if you did like this video, do subscribe and subscribe to my email list down below. And I will see you all in the next video, hopefully. Bye-bye. <laughs>